All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our presentation today. Uh, we are Team Feestack. I'm David Wang. This is Liz Kim, Bryn Reardon, and Michael Zahn. So the problem that we want to tackle was, how do we encourage and facilitate increased communication and engagement within a classroom setting between the, in, between the instructor and the students? To focus on this, what we really want to do is create a user-ready product by the, end, by the end of our project. And to do that, we focus on developing a rapid prototype, which we were then able to test on the actual full stack community here. We've incorporated a lot of their feedback into new features that we then added to the product. And Liz will now walk you through the base of our platform, as well as talk you through some of the new features that we've added since. Thanks, David. Now I'll walk you through some high-level overview of our application. After an instructor logs into his account, he'll be taken to his lecture dashboard where he can view past and pending lectures and create new lectures. You simply type in the title of your lecture and press submit. And now you'll have a lecture ID, which you can give to students so that they can log in through the landing page. When you're ready, you just press play, and then you'll be taken to the actual class da dashboard at the top, you'll press begin, and now your lecture has begun. Students can press the large feedback buttons so that they can tell you if they're feeling good, confused, or if there are logistical difficulties. They can also submit questions anonymously, and their peers can upvote those questions. As an instructor, you can delete or add these questions to your database after you've addressed them. Now, finally, you can also send out polls that you have preloaded, or you can um, create them on the fly. You put in the question of the poll and its multiple choice options, and students, uh, and then once you send them out, students will see them automatically on their dashboard. When uh, the results are in, you'll see them on your dashboard as well. Next, Bryn will walk you through some of our uh, features and some in-depth features and some of the challenges we face. Thanks, Liz. So, Feedstack was developed using SQLize, Express, Angular, and Node, while also heavily relying upon uh, WebSockets. We also relied upon an agile development process, meaning that every feature in Feedstack has been optimized according to end user uh, input. For example, based off of feedback we received from full stack lectures, we added the ability for instructors and fellows to clear student feedback in order to easily manage student responses and or confusion. Secondly, based off of full stack fellow input, we added the ability for fellows to answer student questions live during lecture. Finally, we added a summary page which allows instructors to view lecture results and even compare performance over multiple lectures. In order to achieve this, we had to pivot the, use, the technologies we use, transitioning from the relatively rigid framework of Canvas.js to the more flexible Vega.js in order to fully visualize our data. Now Mike will walk you through an interesting architectural problem we tackled during the development of Feedstack. Thanks, Bryn. As you can imagine, crucial to the success of this application, is maintaining a smooth real-time feedback environment. So we chose to implement this by using WebSocket technology. Uh, when we first did this, it was a bit inefficient. Uh, for example, when a user wanted to submit a feedback that we then wanted to broadcast to everyone else, this is what would happen. The user would fire an AJAX request, which the server would then respond to. Also separately, the user would have to emit a socket event, which the server would also listen for, in order to broadcast um, a signal for everyone to refresh their front ends. Now later, we found a much more efficient way to do this, which is to have our sockets piggyback off of our API routes. So now, the user fires the same AJAX request, and this time, in the API route and the server response is where we are conveniently coupling that uh, signal broadcast, uh, which gets emitted to all the clients. Um, so this kind of significantly reduced the amount of redundant socket events that our app had to handle and made it much more scalable. So as a team, we had a lot of great fun working on this project. We hope you enjoy the demo. Uh, please check us out at feedstack.tk, and thank you for your time. Any questions? <laughs> 